Hey Google, remind me on February 18th to check and see if Bogus has made a video. Your reminder check and see if Bogus has made a video for February 18th, 2018 at 8 a.m. is ready. Do you want to save it? Yes. Okay, reminder save. They said yes? So what are you going to do now? Getting a yes is actually the easy part because now it's up to you to deliver. Kind of want to pick up where Ryan left off because he's producing stuff like a maniac. Both episodes uh, that he put out, one on Friday, bridging the gap between old producers and new producers. It was something else different. That wasn't the exact name of it, but work with me. And then uh, we've got the other one that came out earlier this week talking about three marketing tactics what was, what was that called again? Three marketing tactics that don't scale. And I want to talk about accountability. It's easy to get the yes. All right, maybe it's not that easy, but once you get the yes, that's when the real work starts, right? So we're just talking about getting to the place where you can actually do the thing you want to do. Now it's a challenge of actually doing it. Anybody that has ever reached out to me personally or we've connected in you know, any sort of way, I'm very terrible, guilty of feeling like I should hold you accountable to stuff, whether it's, I mean, it's definitely not my place, but I do it anyways. I can't help but do it because I know how hard it is. It's so important, right? Because if you don't, if you're not holding yourself accountable, who's going to? If you hate me a little bit in some capacity, there's a good chance that I've done this to you, but I will give you a very unreasonable deadline. It's not impossible, but it's unreasonable. And it's unreasonable for a reason because, you know, if somebody else is pushing you to be better and you actually come through, I mean, just the amount of confidence and energy and excitement that you're going to have in yourself for being able to deliver on that thing. I mean, it's, it's off the charts, right? It's just, there's nothing that can even come close to comparing to it. This is the thing that is going to be terrifying for you if and when you do get that yes. When you get that yes, you actually have to produce. You have to produce results. You have to produce content. You have to make the phone ring by something that you made with a camera or your voice or typing on a keyboard. It sounds awesome and it's attractive just hanging around it. But when you get into it, you realize it's like, it's like a 10 year marriage a little bit. Here's the thing, right? Because once you start creating and you're going to do it for a while and you're probably not going to see a whole lot of results. And when you got that, yes, you might have told them it's going to take a while and they might have believed you, but they weren't fully prepared and or committed to actually know what it feels like when you're in it. When you're six months in and you've written something two times a week, once a week, whatever, you put out some videos once a week, every other week, whatever it is, and nobody's paying attention. It's a tough feeling. And at some point, because they never really wanted you to do this in the first place, and they secretly maybe kind of want you to fail, that's terrible, they didn't do that. Maybe they did, I don't know, maybe. Then you start to get in your own head a little bit. You start to wonder, do I need to create? Should I create, should I do this thing? And then it slips. And if it was even six months, or if it was three months, or if it was even two, whatever the time frame, then you start thinking, you start second guessing yourself, well, maybe I shouldn't, maybe I don't have to, maybe they don't want me to, and then you don't create. And then it never happens, and then it never happens. So, but anyways, kind of my challenge to you today is, guess what, I'll make a deal with you. You let me know what it is that you wanna be held accountable for, and when you wanna be held accountable for it, and I will tell my Google Home Mini to remind me to check up on you and to see if it's actually done. We've got a live one today that I'm gonna hold accountable and you're gonna see it actually happen. I mean, I bet you, I bet you any one of those is, I don't use a lot of stuff either, so maybe this is a bad idea. This might go away. Marty's supposed to do his podcast, so we gotta make room for that, so. Yeah. I mean, I have a couple. I mean, I just, I use everything native. I just go native. We'll give it, I mean, I bet you. All right, now that was from my buddy Jared Belmond down in North Carolina. And he uh, tagged me in his Instagram story this morning. Jared says, <laughs> quitting heroin, LOL. Love the new kitchen table analogy. Appreciate the challenge. I need to stop making excuses and start recording. Well, yeah, you kind of do, Jared. I said to Jared, I wouldn't be disappointed if I saw a video from you today. Hashtag, real challenge. Jared says, not messing around, brah. All right, challenge accepted.
No promises that it'll be on fire, but I'll publish it today. No one said anything about fire, Jared. The fire comes in hitting publish. I said, that's all that matters. So let's hold each other accountable. I mean, that's why, that's why Agency Nation exists. I mean, obviously not on this intense of a level, but if you reach out, I'm happy to help in any way that I can keep you more accountable to the things that you want to do. Yeah, can I have a large coffee black, please? Thank you, one dollar. I don't think you can appreciate how cold it is out here. <clears throat> not at all. So talking about accountability, the one thing that I was not, I was not ready to do when jumping on board with Agency Nation was this video series. I knew there was a lot of work to be done and as far as all the other stuff that you've been kind of seeing, but doing a weekly video in this style, vlog, with heavy editing and storytelling, I just didn't think I could handle it. The only thing that has kept me accountable is Ryan and Sydney because we mentioned the schedule that we wanted to do and somehow miraculously came together to where we all had three videos the first week and I felt compelled to not have not three videos on the second week. Now we're on to the third week and Ryan already actually did two last week. So the people you surround yourself with are going to keep you accountable. And that's the hardest part, right? That's the thing that nobody tells you about because you know, you're struggling just to get buy-in from your agency owner, the guy that's trying to teach you how to sell insurance, not only are you struggling to get them to understand that, but you're not existing in an environment where anybody else is pushing you to do something better, to do something different. And that's where the real test, that's where the real challenge is gonna be because it can feel like you're on an island sometimes. It just feels like you're by yourself, you're creating, nobody cares, nobody even appreciates the results. It's a really, really loud concrete tool. Nobody appreciates the results that you're getting or the efforts that you're trying to do and if you don't have that, that environment, that culture, then it's going to be easy to just stop and to try and fit in to whatever your agency wanted you to do before. So getting a yes is hard, but that's where the real work begins. It's so cold. <laughs> do you stay motivated? How do you keep pushing to do something that you wanted to do but are not sure that you can actually do it and you're not sure that the people around you actually care enough to keep you doing it? That's where it gets tough because even if you do cross that bridge like Ryan said, even if you do get all the way across and you're on the other side, staying over there and not wanting to run back across, that's even harder. Ultimately though, it's nice to have somebody to hold you accountable. It's nice to be in an environment that's gonna make it happen, but it's gonna to have to come down to you. You're gonna be the only one that at the end of the day is gonna to have to say, I'm either gonna do this thing or I'm not. It's gotta upset you more than anything that you didn't hit publish, that you didn't get it out. You've gotta find the thing inside of you that's gonna tell you that you need to get this done. And part of it is, is finding the time to fit it in, right? What am I doing? We just went and got coffee, mainly because I actually even need to get coffee. But you just have to fit it in. Nobody's gonna fit it in for you, and there's never going to be a good time. Jared just sent me his video, so that's uh, 
Let's take a look. I have a million reasons not to make videos. The content might not be good. I'm having a bad hair day. The beard doesn't look good today. I didn't wear the right tie. Not wearing the right clothes today. The lighting's not right. I don't have the best equipment. Fear. I'm scared to put myself out there and have people judge me as me. I mean, it's really cool, right? You know, we're talking about accountability. We're talking about taking action. We're talking about doing that next step. And um, I do this stuff all the time. Very rarely is it ever actually met. You know, I just toss out these random dumb things that are, you know, very hard to meet, but not impossible. And I said, you know, again, I told Jared yesterday, I said, I wouldn't be, uh, I wouldn't be disappointed if I saw a video from you today. And hey, guess what? It was a little late, about 13 minutes. I think I got the email at 12, 13 a.m. I was already sleeping. He got the video out and it was up this morning and, and it's a good, you need to go watch it. Um, we'll link it maybe somewhere, the description here. I mean, that's, that's it, right? He didn't want to do it. He didn't, he wasn't ready to do it, but he did it. I mean, he might've wanted to do it, but he did it, right? And that's, I think, what counts. That's what matters. Hey, there's no reason other than it can't happen that I'm not gonna do it. If it takes somebody, something like Agency Nation to help create that accountability for you, then I think we're probably happy to make it happen. Mm -hmm.